Hey guys, and welcome back to Steamy Stories Podcast, where bromance becomes bromosexual. I'm your host, Casey, and this week, I have a story that is sure to stimulate you. Down Under. This is Aussie Actor. Hollywood, California. It was just another day for James. He was the only male in the class, along with seven aspiring actresses. A newcomer to Hollywood, he had moved here only a year prior. His entire life, he was told that he should be an actor, and James certainly had to look for it. He had long chestnut hair and green eyes. He had a strong build and an impressively attractive face with perfect teeth that revealed an infectious smile. James remained friendly to his classmates, but kept to himself regarding his sexuality. He was unsure whether he wanted to be an out actor yet. Today's class promised to be like every other that preceded it, but this time the instructor introduced a new student. His name was Sasha, and he had just arrived from Australia. Up till then, James was the eye candy all the girls enjoyed. But now, Sasha had joined them. The moment he entered the room, his confident swagger and beaming smile captured the hearts of everyone. Sasha had thick, black, short hair that matched his eyebrows and perfectly groomed, scruffy beard. His chestnut-colored eyes were deeply set into his handsome, strong face. His muscular build made him the perfect leading man. He could lead me straight into the bedroom, one girl giggled silently to herself as introductions were made. James wholeheartedly agreed. Sasha was not only spectacular to look at, but a mystery James now needed to solve. Straight? Gay? Bi? Pan? What was his deal? Every girl flirted with him. Sasha politely flirted back, but nothing ever seemed to go anywhere with any of them. Was Sasha just being focused and professional? Finally. It was James's week in class to be Sasha's scene partner. Before assigning scenes, the instructor announced that this week, things would be a bit different. Oh, God, no. I've been looking forward to working with him for months. James dreaded what the instructor would say next. Rather than me assigning you all the scenes, it's up to you to bring something in to act out. Is it true? Perfect! Not the bad news I thought it would be. James instantly had a steamy scene in his head that would end with them kissing. What a week this would be. Not only would he get to spend time with Sasha, but he'd actually get to kiss him. James knew that choosing this scene would likely reveal to the class that he was gay. He decided that a kiss from Sasha was worth coming out for. James approached Sasha, attempting to hide his eagerness. Uh, hey, looks like we've got a scene together. I've got one in mind, if you're okay with that. Sasha mumbled shyly. Sounds good, you pick it. Well, I've got a bully of a week this week. Great, I'll email it to you tonight. Let me... No, if you're available to get together to rehearse. In his thick accent, he answered. Coo, coo, looking forward to it. Go to split now, as he scurried out the door. James emailed Sasha the scene later that night, but never heard back. Did he get it? Did he read it? Are we gonna practice the scene? James texted him once or twice, but never received a reply. No, he must be pissed at me for sending a scene with two guys kissing. What was I thinking, James fretted? 
On the day of the next class, James stood outside the building, waiting for Sasha. He wondered if his scene partner would even show up today. I must have scared this guy back to Australia. The class was about to start when Sasha's car raced up to the lot and parked. Sasha quickly gathered his papers and hurried to get to class before it started. James approached him before entering the building. Hey, Sasha, did you get the scene? Uh, what did you think? What's up? I mean, are we even performing today? Sasha answered apologetically. Sorry, moving here to the States was more work than expected. It was a bollocks week with my stuff arriving from overseas. Yeah, I'm ready to do the scene if you are. James was surprised at the answer. Sure, uh, I'm, I'm ready too, I guess. Sasha gave James a reassuring pat on the back as he headed into class. Let's not be late, mate. The class was beginning. Everyone took their seats, and James couldn't keep his eyes from wandering over to Sasha. Sasha's white tee was just the right amount of tight. His sculpted chest filled out the shirt perfectly. He was dressed in worn, fitted jeans and leather motorcycle boots. James thought he has no idea how sexy he looks right now. James was getting more and more turned on as he stole casual glances at Sasha. He panicked. Damn it, my heart is pounding out of my chest. I'm so hot for this guy. I'm going to pass out before I even get to do the scene. The instructor called James and Sasha to the stage. It was their turn to impress the class. James fought the butterflies fluttering in his stomach. Be chill. Remember your lines and your training. You're an actor. Be professional. Stop acting like some teenage girl crushing on a boy. Sasha started. James was pleasantly surprised. Wow, he's quite good. A natural. James grabbed Sasha's arms as the scene reached its climax. Sasha's biceps were like baseballs and his chest was rock hard. James swooned as Sasha started delivering his romantic monologue. Sasha cradled James's head in his hands as he slowly drew him near. It didn't matter what Sasha was saying, or even if his performance was any good. James was sold the second he felt Sasha's warm breath on his face. Seconds felt like hours as Sasha drew James closer to him for the epic Hollywood screen kiss. The aliens be damned. We're alone and free. That's all that matters. You're finally mine, whispered Sasha, seconds before their lips touched. A kiss. Sasha's lips were soft, warm, wet, and delicious just as James imagined they'd be. James closed his eyes and swooned. I don't care who is watching, I'm going to savor this moment forever. Applause snapped James back to reality. His teacher and classmates clapped enthusiastically. Oh, wow. That was amazing. I guess they liked the scene too, James thought to himself. Nicely done, mate. Sasha extended his hand for a congratulatory shake. Uh, yeah. You too. James was still on cloud nine. He made his way back to his chair. Hopefully his jeans weren't telegraphing how turned on he was. The instructor made his way to the front of the class to give further instructions. Good job, everyone. Let's keep these groups next week as well. 
I really like the pairings, but this time the other scene partner picks the scene for next week. James was surprised that the teacher didn't comment on his choice of material, but he was curious about what Sasha thought. He headed over to make small talk. Great job, man. Sorry we didn't get to rehearse this week, but looks like we nailed it. Sasha smiled. Yeah, looks like we were a hit. Guess they liked it, and us. James attempted to hide just how much he enjoyed the kiss. He cleared his voice and put on his best casual bro voice. Um, do you have any ideas on what scene you like to do next week? Sasha smiled. Actually, I do. Ever see the movie The Ten Year Plan? James was shocked that Sasha would know that movie. A gay romantic comedy? Actually, I love that film! James almost comically bursted out. Sasha continued. There's a scene on the couch where Miles goes on a grind a date. James gulped hard. Could he mean the scene that starts with the guy putting his hand on his date's thigh and ends up in a steamy makeout session? James's face revealed to Sasha that he knew the scene all too well. Before James could answer if he was familiar with the film, Sasha replied, Yep, that'd be the scene. Feel like coming over later and working on it? Or he could order us some dinner. James took a deep breath and replied as casually and coolly as one could. Hell yeah, I do. Be there at eight. Enjoy JC's writing? Then check out his new book, Revenge of the Brobot. Join the Steam Room Stories bros as one of them finds love with an amorous android while on the run from a merciless marine. Revenge of the Brobot is now available on Amazon in both softcover and hardcover options, as well as on Audible. Steamy Stories is written by J.C. Calciano and narrated by yours truly, Casey. You can find Steamy Stories Podcast on Instagram and Twitter at hashtag Steamy Podcast. Make sure to come back in two weeks for another Steamy Story. Later, bro.